Welcome to this video on using the text join function in Microsoft Excel to combine multiple cells of data together. So you may currently or have previously used concatenate or concat, but text join is a nice simple way of being able to combine multiple cells together at the same time without having set to set up each argument and put different delimiters in the middle of them to tell the system that you want to put like spaces and things like that in. So let's build this function up so you can see what it looks like. I'm just going to click in the cell that I want this information to appear into. And anytime I'm doing a formula or a function, remember I start with an equal sign. And then I'm just going to start typing in text join. So T-E-X-T -E and then join. And I'm going to click on that one. So it's going to give me some questions. Now, it's asking me for a delimiter. So that's my first thing. I've got three options here. That three bits of information that I need to put in. So the delimiter is what I want in the middle of my different cells, my different sets of data. So I've got a first name, a middle name, and a last name. And I'd like a space in between each of those so that it's not all pushed together. Now, you might not even need that. So if you don't need anything, yours might look a little bit different. But if you need a space in between them, I'm just going to open quotation marks, press the space bar to show that it's a space and close those quotation marks. If you're not going to put anything in, if you want it all to be pulled together in one string of text, then you just open your quotation marks and immediately close them without putting the space if you wanted a comma in between them instead of the space, you'd have a comma and so on and so on, just to give you a bit of an idea. So that's the first part of this function that we're building. Remember when you finished a part and you want to go on to the next one, you're going to use the comma. And now it's asking if I want to ignore empty cells or include empty cells. So it's not really important because I don't have anything on there that um, that is is empty. So you can, I can ignore them or include them. It really doesn't matter. But you might want to play around with that in case you've got empty cells. And if you have, you might want to ignore them so that they don't mess up your data. Let's say someone's not got an, a middle initial. You just want their first name, one space, and their last name. Otherwise, it can look a bit confusing. So I'm just going to click on ignore. And then comma again to close that part. And the last part I need is I need to tell the system what cells I want to pull together. So I'm just going to select the all the three columns in one go by clicking on the A1 and dragging it across. You can see it's giving me A2 colon C2. And then I'm going to close my brackets to close the function, the formula, whatever I'm doing down. Remember, you're always going to close your brackets and press enter. And you can see that I've got Alice L. Johnson and I've got spaces in between them because I put that in my function there. And just to hover back over it in the function bar, and I'll zoom in at this point, you can see that function that's being built. So you can see exactly what's happened. And then all I'm going to do for the rest of this is click and hold in the bottom right hand corner where I just entered that function and drag it down so that it picks up that data all the way through. So a super quick and easy way, I only had to put three things in. I can select multiple cells at the same time. I don't have to do each of them separately and put a different delimiter in there. Um, so it just saves some, saves some time, makes it so much more simple than concat. I'm gonna use text join all the time going forward from now. So definitely have a go at that one. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.